You want to be very healthy? You know what? Health is a blessing and God wants to give you that health. God wants to give you the blessing of health. But guess what? You've got to defeat the enemy. What enemy? How about exercise? You've got to exercise. Oh, can I just say, Lord, make me healthy? Amen. No, no, you've got to defi- defeat the enemy. How about something else? Another, another enemy. Lechon, crispy pata, karika. You know what I'm saying? Pata, team, you know. Those are enemies you've got to defeat. Like, like avoid them and resist them or take little of them. Not, not too much. Why? Because God wants you to defeat. Because when you defeat the enemy, guess what? You know, you're going to have challenges, amen? You're going to have trials this year, amen? But God will defeat your enemies. When I was a small kid, I mean, I'm, I'm thin now, okay? But I was so thin when I was small. And because I was small and because I was thin, I was bullied a lot. I don't know if you... Are there some here who know what I mean when I say bullying? I was bullied. I really was. I'd go to school with my bag, go into the classroom, put my bag there beside my chair. I'd sit down. You know, the teacher's not there. And that's when the bullies come. And the bullies come and they, they taunt me. And, and they say, Sanchez! You know? And then they push the chair. You know, you, 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 you know, and, and then they smile. And they, why do they do that? Just because they can. You know? And, and they, you're, you're walking like that in the corridor. And then they bump you. You know? And you, you're, you're thrown to the floor. And why do they do that? Just because they can. Well, one day, I was seated on my chair when the bullies of all bullies his, he, was, he was called the Man of Steel. His name, his name was Jesse. Bad boy Jesse. You know, all of us during that time, age 10, age 9, we had high-pitched voices. You know, everybody, you know, the teacher calls the roll call, you know, calls your name. Sanchez, present! You know, Reyes, present! <laughs> but when, when, when they call, when the teacher says, Jesse, present! His voice is already, you know, why? Ask me why. He's five years older than us. He keeps on failing and failing and repeats the year, you know. He's, he's, ba- he's two feet bigger than me, taller than me, believe me. He's two feet taller than me. So he comes, walks to me. He doesn't do that, you know. He, he, he never bullied me. The other smaller bullies bullied me, but not Jesse. So, so it, it's really terrifying for me to see this man of steel approaching me. And then he shoves the notebook, his religion notebook, in front of me and says, Sanchez, to look and make a homework. Help me with my homework. Now, during that time, I don't know why. Really, I don't know why. When I was 9, 10, 11 years old, my my math was 75. My Filipino was grade 75. My religion was 95. I don't know why. But I said, okay. I told, I told, no, no, I didn't say that. I said, okay. So I, I helped him in the homework. And while, while after I finished helping him with the homework, Jesse says in Tagalog, Binibigyan ka ba ng problema ng mga batang to? Do these kids give you, you know, a problem? And I say, Mecho! A little bit, you know? And so he says the famous words, Famous because for me, I mean, it changed my life. He said, Ako bahala sayo. I'll take care of you. And so the next day, I'm in my class. And I sat down. And the teacher was not there. And it was bullying time. And so all the bullies came. And, you know, they pushed my chair. And they taunted me. And they jeered at me. You know, and, uh, Palito, palito, palito. You know, um, you know toothpick, toothpick. And, and, uh, and so there I was, you know, just, just grinning and laughing. And, and uh, you know, that, that's what I use. That's what all I can do. You know, that's what, that's what you can do. You just smile. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> but that's all. That's all. But then all of a sudden, Jesse, the man of steel, walks towards me. And all the other smaller bullies, like, gave way. And, uh, and, they, and, they, and they kind of like said, I wonder what will happen to Bo. Oh, poor Bo. He's going to get it this time. And Jesse put his hand on my shoulder. And he says, Kaibigan ko si Bo. Bo is my friend. 
kalaban nyo si Bo? Kalaban nyo ako. <laughs> you fight Bo, you fight me. And then he turns around. You know what happened? For a whole year, no one touched me. <laughs> no one. I want you to know that there will be bullies in your life in 2008. Bullies, internal bullies and external bullies. Big problems and small problems. They will tell you, you can't do it. They will tell you, you're nothing. They will tell you, you're going to fail. They will tell you, that you, you cannot fulfill the dreams that God has placed in your heart. Well, you've got to tell them that there is a Jesse whose name is Jesus. And he's not just a man of steel. He's a man of God. And he's a God man. And he puts his hand over your shoulder. And he says, I'm the friend of this person. And whoever picks a fight with this person, picks a fight with me. God will defeat your enemies. God will, God will pick a fight. God will pick a fight with whatever problem or challenge or difficulty or bully that is in your life. He will be the one who will pick a fight with whatever that person or thing or problem is. Here's principle the third thing that God will do in your life. God will be present with you. Say that with me. You know what, brothers and sisters, I just want to say something. God, in 2008, He's going to be with you 24 hours a day. Not just when you pray. Not just when you go to Mass. Not just when you pray or read the Bible. No, no. God will be with you 24 hours a day. That's the kind of God you have. You know, one of my blessings in my life is after growing in the Lord for so many years... I've, I've, I've learned the art of feeling the presence of God even when I'm not praying. It's true. The moment I wake up, you know what I do when I wake up in the morning? I drink two tall glasses of water. And for some people, that's just something that you do for your health. You know? uh, I drink warm, warm water or, or lukewarm water from the, from the mineral bottle you know? and, and, and I drink it. Two tall glasses. Very good for the health. Removes the, the toxins and so on. Great, great for the body. But guess what? You know what I do? I get the glass of water. Every sip, every sip, I, I'm imagining that it is the love of God flowing into my body. <laughs> 